Today I'm making a little fish out of ink pen and it's just going to be an imagined fish. So first I draw kind of a little oval shape and I leave one end of the oval kind of open and I kind of started the tail there but just draw the oval shape first on your page really lightly and right there I could just kind of leave it open a little bit that's where the mouth is going to be and there's my tail that I'm drawing in there and it doesn't have to be exact you can make a shorter tail or a longer tail it's fun to play around with the possibilities and for this mouth I go ahead and do the bottom lip kinda do that dot there and I do the bottom lip pretty much horizontal and do the top lip kind of at almost a 45 degree angle from the fulcrum of the mouth there and I just pick a little spot for the eye it's not real scientific here it's kind of based on um, fish that I have studied in the past but I'm not looking at any pictures right now it's just kind of from memory and your proportions are going to be different so I just put my gills there and then I started the little fin right behind the right behind the gills and added those bottom fins and a dorsal fin basically just kind of from memory and of course you can look at pictures of other fish this is just kind of a fun exercise to try to do without looking at any pictures but obviously if you need to look at pictures of real fish that's a good way to start and um, you can see I'm drawing kind of a light line through the body of the fish that's just to help kind of guide yourself where to put the beginning of the that little middle part of the tail which is kind of a character caricature tail kind of what you'd see in storybooks and things like that but it's also based on reality too um, it's just a fun little imagination fish really in here I'm filling in the fin lines those pleats that you see um, on real fish they their dorsal fin and their other fins have have those lines and so I'm just doing some very simple filling in of lines and you can always clean up the edges kinda of what I'm doing right now I'm kind of adding some little detail in there kind of connecting them together in a little diagonal way and there are other ways you can experiment with it I'm just doing it here so as you can see you can see some of my original lines that you might not want to have seen in the finished drawing but that's okay because you can always cover up and kind of add on to the lines that you have and your finished drawing will look really nice so I'm filling in the mouth there and now I'm just doing the rest of the lines on the fins and don't be don't be afraid to mess up it's it's always good to mess up like I say this in probably every single drawing video that I do there's lot there are lots of opportunities when there's a quote unquote mess up in a drawing you can always change it into something else it might help your drawing evolve into something that you least expected so now I'm just filling in all the lines on all the fins here and I'll, I'm speeding that up a bit and just filling in the edges kinda of cleaning them up a little bit and getting more value into the paint or into the drawing and now here I'm starting the scales I'll zoom in here in just a second I start at the base of the tail so that your since scales overlap each other you want to start at the very back because your overlapping scales are gonna come on top so I kind of make a letter U like a sideways letter U and layer them one over the other you can do rows but it in and you can look at other fish you can kinda see a pattern with the way scales go but I just kinda round them around kind of the if I can imagine the fish body I kind of do them in a like I do each scale is a letter U and then each kind of row of scales is a letter U as well because you have the curvature of the body of the fish, right? If you can imagine 
it doesn't lay flat. It has kind of a mound to it, so it's going to have that perspective there. And so just filling in all those scales. It takes a while, but it's fun to do. It's kind of a fun thing to do while you're watching TV or listening to music or doodling. It's a good doodle. This is a great doodle fish for if ever you're bored. There's Oh, I'm filling in those, putting in some air bubbles there. Because they need to breathe, right? And then I'm coming in and filling in with some cross hatching around the fish. And I do it so that it just kind of frames it and kind of closes the image off in, in a nice way. And I just do some very light diagonal lines. And then I do the diagonals in one direction. And then I go back over and do more diagonal lines in the other direction on top of them which is cross hatching and that's a really nice effect this this kind of drawing I think kind of looks like a nice one of those block prints um, or maybe even kind of like lithogra lithographs lithography is I don't know something to that's a more advanced stage of printing and things like that in art but um, and again, talking about value, you, you don't want an anemic drawing. Anemic being when your blood lacks iron. That's with a drawing, when your drawing doesn't have enough value and it's kind of weak and it doesn't pop out enough. So I'm going back over my scales and the fins and see how the fins are kind of darker and they pop out. And now my scales, you can see those a little better. So that it, it has more value and it, it's just more interesting that way. That's my dog snoring. <laughs> and now I'm just lightly filling in kind of the face area. And I did those dots and there's other kind of designs. When you look at fish drawings, you'll see. So and then signing it and that, that makes just a nice little, little drawing. I hope you enjoy. Check out my website, AllegraRoseBrown.com.